Welcome to the Vancouver Entrepreneurs Group. How are you guys doing tonight? Good. You guys are ready to learn and grow today? Awesome. I uh, just want to introduce myself. My name is Victoria Mui, and I'm actually very, very delighted to be here introducing our speaker today. So our speaker today is a successful multi-million entrepreneur. He is a well-respected figure in the internet marketing world. And this is the part where I love him the most. He is into giving back and sharing. So every other week is here giving back and sharing his real-world strategies with entrepreneurs like us. Him and I, we have a company together. He is my mentor and as well my business partner. Our company is Vancouver uh, Corporate Champions Vancouver, where we serve corporate clients in team building events. We serve clients such as Microsoft, Amazon, Samsung, City of Vancouver, PwC, and so forth. His strategies have helped me to attract new clients, maintain my existing clientele, keeping them very happy, but most of all, he has coached me in such a way where I truly believe that I can achieve the success that I've really wanted. Finally, he is just an incredible individual. He's absolutely fascinating. So if you can join me in welcoming him, putting your hands together, <coughs> Mr. Dan Locke. Thank you. By show of hands, how many of you want to work less and, and make more money? Put that way up and say yes. yes. How many of you want to have less stress running your business? Put that way up and say, hell yes. yes. How many of you want to have more fun running your business? Yes? yes. Great. Now, tonight, what I'm going to share with you is going to have a, a massive impact on your income. I'm very excited to be here this evening. It's a, it's a subject I'm very passionate about. And when you listen and when you apply what you learn from this evening, I believe it's going to transform your business and it's going to transform your financial life. How many up for that? Yes? yes. Yeah. Now, but a disclaimer first. Tonight I'm going to share some stuff with you that you might not agree with. Uh, I'm going to say stuff that would piss you off. I might say stuff that would make you feel uncomfortable. I might say stuff that uh, you don't like. There, there will be parts of, of this workshop that you don't like. I can guarantee you that. And, but if you listen and you apply and when you have an open mind, what is it? Open an mind. open mind. I think you'll find it very, very valuable. Now, at first, I want to almost um, do an exercise with you first. So I want everybody to stand up. And just find, be comfortable, find a space. And I just want to kind of slow, if you high heels, ladies, just you can use your arm. But I want you to kind of jog on the spot, kind of see if you have experienced this in your business. So at first, you came up with an idea as an entrepreneur. You came up with this idea, and you got, you know what, I'm, I'm going to turn this idea into reality. And you start a business, and you invest a lot of time and money and energy, and you go and you hustle and you work hard, and then you jog a little faster. And then money starts coming in. And you're selling, and you're fulfilling, and you're doing customer service, and you're dealing with the problems, and, and you're a little bit faster. And that's good. Customers love you. Your kids love you. Your spouse loves you. Getting more sex at home, that's good. <laughs> and you're going. And but now you run a little faster, because more people want you, and customers want you, and people love you, and money are coming in, and you're getting exhausted. And now you're making mistakes. You're making mistakes. Things are falling through the crap, and you're putting out fire, and you keep going, and you don't know what to do, and you're exhausted. And now actually your income starts to decrease. You don't know what to do. You put in more hours. You run a little faster, and you go, and you go, and you don't know what to do. And now what? Shh. You don't know how to get off that hamster wheel. How many of you have this experience? Put that first seat. Now, what's very interesting is, as an entrepreneur, that we start a business, and we get on this hamster wheel, and we run, and we run, and we run. And as the business gets better, and we run faster, and it gets better, and we run faster, and it gets better, and we run faster, and then we hit a, a ceiling, call that a glass ceiling. And then it plateaus. And then actually, as you put in more hours, your return on time investment actually diminishes. Now, why is that? Tell me, why is that? Why is that? Can't give up the same energy. Can what? You can't give up the same energy. Can't give up the same energy. You get exhausted. You get tired. Yes. But why? You're working by the hours. You're working by the hours. OK. You're not leveraging. You're not leveraging, yes. You're not delegating. You're not delegating. Very, very good. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Now. For, how many, for those who are familiar with my work, been with me for some time, you know I teach 
uh, a success cycle called Millionaire's Entrepreneur Success Cycle. It's basically, basically seven steps to a seven-figure business. Seven steps to a seven-figure business. So let me ask you a question. How many of you have seen this before? Okay, good. So first step is attraction. What does that mean? Here are the answer. What does that mean? Get the clients. Get the clients. How to get clients? Client attraction. Second step is retention. What does that mean? You are the answer. Keep the, client. Keep the client. How do you retain those clients? And the third step is optimization. What does that mean? Get the most value. Yeah, how do you maximize and optimize the value of each client that you get? Now, if you think about it, the first three steps are basically the function of sales and marketing. Everybody understand? Yes? yes. Yeah, so it's how do you sell more stuff to more people for more money more often? I'll say it again. How do you sell more stuff to more people more often for more money? That's the first three steps. Now, as you master those, are you making money, yes or no? Yes. Yeah, you're making money. Doesn't mean you're not working hard, but you're making money. Then you, you want to systemize. So, so fourth, this fourth step is systemization. What does that mean? You have the answer. What does that mean? Organization. Hmm? Organization. Organization within your business. You want to systemize certain aspects of business so it performs on a consistent basis. Then once you systemize, then you can delegate. What does delegation mean? Get others to do the work. Yeah, leverage, get other people to do the work. Now you're building a little team that can help you. And then once you delegate, you want to automate, automation, so automate using technology. Then you can expand, you can duplicate, you can clone, you can now leverage and expand. Does that make sense? Yes? Yeah. Hello? Yes? yes? Okay. So the seven steps. So today, I'm going to focus on just the delegation. I'm going to spend a good almost three hours just on delegation. The truth is I can spend a day on it, and we can go through more exercise and, and actually dive into your business a little bit more, but I'm restricted uh, with only three hours. When I was working on this PowerPoint, this presentation, I actually, when I finished, I had 150 slides. <laughs> I'm like, okay, 150 slides, if I've got three hours, I'm gonna talk pretty damn quick. <laughs> so that doesn't work, so I cut it back to like 80 slides or so. I don't even know I can go through them. Um, and as you know, I don't like to lecture. I don't like to do what? Lecture. lecture. So I like a little bit of interactivity as I ask a question, you yell back the E. As loud as you? Can. Thank you. Very good. So I'm going to say stuff that you don't like. Um, but my intention here for you this evening is to walk away with some strategies that you can go back and apply to your business. And my job, my goal is not for you to like me. Frankly, I don't give a damn. Uh, my job here is to make you grow. To make you do what? Grow. grow. I would rather you walk away pissed off at me and actually do something and make some changes. Versus, oh, that's all nice, and Dan is nice. I don't care about nice. I don't care about nice. Ten times your finances. Ten times your business. Ten times your marketing. Ten times your life. Hit the subscribe button now.